number crunch in a moment, but first, here's what to expect at half past six. That's it from me in the studio this evening. We'll have the weather forecast later, but for now, it's back to Jonathan at the University of Essex and the Anglian number crunch. Yes, welcome back to this special edition of Anglia tonight. So then, a week to go before the government reveals just how bad the cuts will be. But are they really necessary? And where do you think the axe should actually fall? David Hughes can now reveal the results of our all-important poll. David. Yes, we commissioned YouGov, the polling organisation, just to have a look at some of those questions for us. 600 people across the Anglia region surveyed. Here are some of the first of those results. First, we asked about the level of spending cuts, and there was a bit of a split here. 37% of people thought the government was right to cut borrowing fast by cutting public spending. But 30% of people thought it was happening too fast and there was a risk of a double-dip recession. Interestingly, 17%, nearly one in five of people, thought that taxes should rise to balance the books. On the second question, the answer was more clear-cut. We asked, how do you expect the cuts to affect your family? Nearly two-thirds, 65%, expected to be worse off. We also asked if people would consider moving to another part of the UK to find a job. Overwhelmingly, 88% said that was unlikely. Well, we're joined once again by Professor Paul Whiteley from the University of Essex. Uh, Professor, perhaps you could just sum up your initial thoughts on those poll findings for us. Well, I think the interesting big picture item is that in general, people will agree with the idea of cuts, but they're not so sure when it comes to specifics. If you ask them about cutting schools, hospitals, home helps and that sort of thing, it's no, no. You ask them in general, is this a good idea and do we need to do it? Yes, so that is a big gulf, which is going to be a problem, I think, for policymakers and government. Professor, thank you very much indeed for that. Well, that's one of our experts. David Hughes, we've been, of course, asking for people to get in touch with us as well with, about their thoughts on the cuts. What have people been saying to us? Everyone, are, everyone is talking about this. We've had people uh, tweeting on Twitter, Facebook. Barry Tyler from Bedfordshire. I feel terrible about the spending cuts. Uh, they'll affect me terribly. In a word, he sums it up, terrible. Angela Cavill from Peterborough. Service for, for the long-term sick, already inadequate. Community rehab is a joke, going from dire to worse. And this one from Jason Loam. In Ipswich, I would like to eventually know what we're actually doing to save all this money. After all, if we have no fire service, no police, no NHS, no army, no benefit system, why would we need a government to run all these things if they're not there anymore? So certainly it's getting people involved. All very good points there. And please do keep getting in touch with us with those over the weeks we're going to be doing the number crunch. Let's get our final thoughts now from our experts, Michelle and Charlotte as well. Michelle, as far as the numbers are concerned there, what you heard people there, is it all doom and gloom? And what advice would you be giving anyone in difficulties this evening? People are understandably concerned about the impact on their own personal finances. But I think the thing to say is don't panic. You know, it's going to be a couple of years, really, before all these cuts come in. People have got a chance to save, chance to, to look at the impact it's going to have and, and make changes, hopefully, to accommodate. Charlotte, do you think the jobs will be out there? I think it's going to be tough. Um, the job market is already better than it was at the beginning of the year. Um, we're experiencing 30% increase. The other thing, I think, is that are these jobs going to go from the private from the public sector into the private sector so would it be that we've actually got workers who are moving from one discipline to another and professor a final thought from you do you think is there a glimmer of hope there do you think the cuts yes. will be as bad as, as, as everyone's making i it don't think they will the rumors about 25 percent cuts i think are exaggerated when we look back on this in six years time the cuts will have been made but they'll be much smaller than they look now for political reasons well let's hope so thank you very much indeed for that well tonight Tonight, we've been speculating. In just over a week, we'll know exactly where the cuts will hit and what the government has in store for us all. Michelle Slade, Charlotte Cooper and Professor Paul Whiteley. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Thank you very much indeed for your contributions. Uh, we're going to be back with our next Anglian number crutch in a week from now. David, where is it going to be? Well, we're going to be in Suffolk next week. Don't forget, if you want more details of all of the number crunching we've been doing, it's on our website, itv.com slash Anglia. David Hughes, everyone, thank you very much indeed. We're going to be back inside tomorrow in the warm, I can assure you. From all of us here at Essex University, good night.